Hey Prepsters, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will be discussing the latest recruitment process for TCS in detail. Everything that you need to know, starting from the recruitment pattern to the syllabus, salary, interview, everything will be discussed in detail right here in this video. We will be uploading hundreds of videos in the coming days, so make sure you've subscribed to our channel because it will be really helpful for you in your placement journey. And also hit the bell icon to be notified every time a new video goes up. So without wasting any more time, let's begin with the TCS detailed video. Although the pre-placement talk is not mandatory for all the colleges, TCS does visit the top three-day colleges of India and begins the recruitment process with a PPT. This session involves the HRs talking to you about the company, the salary, growth and the opportunities that you will get there. This is then followed by a Q&A round wherein you can ask them any questions or doubts that you have. The TCS recruitment pattern has gone through various changes this time and this video will give you the latest and the most updated pattern. The most important thing now is that you have to sit for only one single exam to be eligible for both TCS Ninja as well as TCS Digital Hiring. We will discuss this in detail further in the video. Now talking about the written test pattern, this will have four sections. Your Quant, Verbal, CMCQ and Coding. The aptitude section will have 15 questions and you get a time of 30 minutes to solve it. This also has reasoning questions. The next section which is the verbal section has 15 questions and you get 10 minutes. This section might have some changes and in case that happens, we will update our TCS dashboard, the link to which is mentioned below. The CMCQ section will have 10 questions with 20 minutes and the coding ability test will give you one problem statement and 30 minutes to solve it. In total, you will have 41 questions with a time of 90 minutes. After you clear the written test, you will move on to the interview process. In this, you have one single interview and your interview panel will have three members. The first one will be a technical expert, the second would be an HR expert and the third would be a managerial member. We will discuss this in detail further in the video. Once you are selected, you will get the offer letter in between 10 to 15 days and the joining date will be between 3 to 6 months. The salary package is 3.4 to 3.6 LPA depending on the grade of your college and which translates to 24,000 per month after any reductions of taxes. But as we mentioned earlier, the TCS Digital Hiring will give you a package of anywhere between 6.5 to 7 LPA. According to the latest pattern for TCS, there are four sections in the exam. Quantitative Aptitude, Verbal, CMCQs and Coding. Out of 15 questions, five will be star marked questions, also called the fill up the box type. The value you enter here needs to be rounded off to two decimal places. For example, if your answer is 12.227, you will have to write the answer as 12.23. The other 10 questions will be MCQ type. These MCQ type questions carry one mark and a 33% negative marking. The FUB type carry two marks with no negative marking. The five FUB type, which are the star marked questions, are of utmost importance because answering these correctly is what will set you apart from the others. Make note that only the top 10% performers in this test move on to the digital interview round. So make sure you do these questions really well because they have no negative marking and are going to set you apart from the others. The topics asked in this section are probability, time, speed and distance, time and work, geometry and others mentioned on the screen. We pay special attention to the star mark questions in our online classes and we've also provided you a link which is in PDF format for the geometry important formulas, the link to which you can find in the description box below. So do check that out as well. The verbal section has 15 questions and you get 10 minutes. The closed test is basically a long paragraph with lots of blanks which you have to fill up with the correct tenses, adjectives, prepositions, etc. If there are any changes in this test section, we will update our TCS dashboard on the website and don't worry because you will be the first ones to know if there are any changes made. Each question in this section carries one mark and a 0.33 negative marking. There are no star marked questions in this section. The CMCQ section will have 10 questions with 20 minutes. Out of these 10, 7 will be MCQ type with 2 marks each and 33% negative marking. The other 3 will be fill up the box type with no negative marking. 
The topics asked in this question are file handling, array, functions, loops, and others mentioned on the screen. Though command line programming is not asked in the coding section of TCS anymore, you may get some CLP based MCQs in this section. We will cover this in detail in our online classes as well as paid material. So make sure that you check those out because we also have a discount code for you which will be mentioned in the description box below after you finish watching this video. The coding section has one logical problem and you get 30 minutes to solve it. You can code in any of your preferred languages from C, C++, Java, Perl or Python. Please note that you do not have to code in CLP. The code can be any of the following operations based on series printing, pattern printing or matrix printing. We pay special attention to topics like geometry, command line programming, reasoning etc. in our online classes. The selection rate for our students is almost 91% for TCS. So to be in the top percentile holders, we suggest you go through our online classes. We have an additional discount of 20% for our online materials and 30% for our online classes for all our YouTube video watchers. You can find the link to that in the description box which will be mentioned below. Apart from that, we also have a PDF with the most asked questions during the TCS recruitment pattern, the link to which you can find again in the description box below. The interview for TCS is done in one single round with a panel of three members. Your first panel member, which is the technical member, will ask you technical related questions and also engineering specific subjects. The HR member will ask you questions related to basic general workplace culture questions. Something like, where do you see yourself in five years? Why do you wish to join TCS? Or would you be willing to relocate to another location for joining TCS? From the managerial member of the panel, you will face some stress-based questions. They will try and make you very uncomfortable by asking you situational analysis questions. For example, they may ask you if your best friend who is also working at TCS is using the work computers and the work office hours to work on personal clients and projects, how will you handle this situation? The interview can last anywhere about 30 to 50 minutes depending on how you are performing. We will definitely be making a separate YouTube video for this interview process. Now we have our founder Atulya who will give you more insight into the TCS recruitment process. Hello guys, welcome to the video. So uh, mainly if we talk about TCS and its pattern, right? So there are a few things that you want to study and there are a few things that you can ignore. So for example, if I talk about the aptitude section, there are 15 questions and out of which two questions each are asked from geometry and series and progression, which make those topics really, really important for you to study, right? Similarly, uh, when we talk about the C MCQ section, the 50% of the weightage would be given to the C part and the object oriented part. Uh, so there are five questions from that. And the rest five questions would be approximately from the data structures part. And in that also, you don't have to study everything because there would be either no questions or in fact only one questions from graphs and greedy algorithms that become a little difficult part of uh, the data structures. And in fact, uh, then when I talk about data structures, you don't have to study everything in very detail in depth. You can choose to study only the basics and a little bit, you know, dig down into the pseudocode and a little of programming of that section. Don't go and mug up all the programs because that would not help you, especially from the people uh, who are non CS and IT people, right? So they are not very, you know, certain or very competent enough in coding and uh, C or C++ or data structures part. So which is something that we give a very high focus in our online classes and we start from the very basics level and try to expand that to an advanced level very smoothly and in fact that has helped prep insta and its students 90 approximately 90 percent of the students that were selected in tcs last year had prepared from prep insta so i also hope that you make the right decision we've revamped the whole website we've introduced a lot of smart analytics on our website that should help you a lot and um, so that's it from my end if you have any questions make sure that you tag me in the comment section and ask questions directly if not uh, my team would also you know help you in the meantime so thank you we hope this video was helpful make sure you watch the other tcs related videos as well the links to which will be mentioned in the description box below also make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time a new video goes up and if you have any more questions, please comment down below because we answer all your queries. 
and also we have a special discount code for all our YouTube subscribers which gives you a 25% discount for our material and online classes.